and uh, welcome to this uh, update stream today. I have with me um, Ken Rael and Jay Hell, who are uh, both game designers, and we're all very excited to be talking about the updates. Uh, let's not forget, uh, I am Fox Squadron. Uh, what's up? <laughs> um, so yeah, we have a pretty pretty dense um, uh, schedule ahead of yeah, us. Definitely. So uh, I suggest that we kind of dive right into it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we're broadcast live on uh, Twitch. Facebook, um, Periscope, and um, there's one last, I think. Um, Facebook. <laughs> no. Oh, no, you said Facebook. Never mind. Well, we're, we're on a bunch of no, platforms no, no. at the same time. YouTube. Oh, yes, it's YouTube, one. right. So, all of you guys, we can see all of your comments for the first time as well. So, this is pretty exciting for us. Uh, so, don't, don't hesitate to comment on any platform and we'll see them. Uh, we'll obviously take questions uh, as usual at the end of the, uh, uh, the stream. So, if you have a burning question, uh, you know, just sit on it and uh, we'll, we'll do our best to answer it. So um, first off today, uh, what, what, are, what are we going to be talking about? Uh, obviously, this is a big diplomacy update, yes. diplomacy oriented. Uh, galactic Statecraft. Oh, the Galactic the Statecraft, yes, do, 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 giving the name of the update. Yeah, it's, it's quite important. Yeah, so we really basically did a focus on diplomacy uh -huh. as much as like working with other players as aggressive diplomacy basically using weapons and all that. Uh, maybe you want to talk a bit more about the scope of the update? Yeah, definitely. <coughs> so as, as they were saying, uh, you sent us a lot of feedback on the forums as to how diplomacy was lacking and we, we definitely wanted to increase the means for you to be able to play the game in a non-violent way, but it doesn't mean that diplomacy doesn't allow you to actually strike at your enemies too. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely one of the big things we wanted to do, make diplomacy aggressive in a way. Yeah, let, let's, let's go for the, the new things. So <coughs> these are new diplomatic terms, exactly. uh, is that it? Do you want to tell us about those? So these are the diplomatic requests, uh, oh, basically. Uh, for example, here, the, I think the ship trespassed and uh, you, want the, you want to say to the other players, get your ships out of my space. And uh, you can send this term once the ship are in your territory and uh -huh. the other player will get this message uh, where they can accept or refuse to remove the ships. Uh, once they have accepted or refused, you, in your turn, get a reaction, the one we saw previously with the Lumeris, and uh, this is the end of the exchange. It's only if they refuse, though, I think. It's only when they refuse, yes, definitely. Okay. So, for example, if, if I'm sending this to Froggy, stop, stop attacks on me, <coughs> that, that, that is really unlike me, that is like, not. <laughs> if this, this would happen, he can then accept or refuse. Uh -huh. He's going to refuse, obviously. Probably. He would. He would. I mean, I'm not attacking, it's a, it's a defensive war, really. There, he refused, so I get, to, I get to pick a reaction, I can either prepare or mobilize, because he refused to halt his attacks, so probably he's scheming on something. It's not uh, scheming if it's, you know, all out of front <laughs> attack, you know? It's, it's a peaceful attack. And uh, that's pretty much it for the diplomatic request. Uh, there are... Uh, numerous gameplay cases that you can solve with this. The idea was to give the same tools to the AI and to players. Mm. So uh, you can remove trespassing ships, you can tell them to stop colonizing next to you, yeah. you can tell them to stop attacking you, and well, there's a bunch of stuff I'm not going to... <laughs> but all, to of this is the yeah. list. all of this all is it. contextual, right? So it, yeah. will, it will yeah. appear if there is a situation that warrants it. I think there <coughs> is a, a warning at the top of the screen that says that... You yeah, you can you basically get a notification that tells you, yeah, you can send a special okay. term. So it's, it's right next to, next to the diplomatic <coughs> uh, button, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, but how yeah. about we dive into alliances? Uh, yeah, so it's alliances, uh, so you've got it on the screen. Basically, you wanted to make alliances more impactful. Like, you want to really invest your time with the other player, the other empire. Uh, so one of the things we did is create a new pact that basically gets better over time, and this pact is faction-specific. So, like, we can see the Rivborn here that gave a bonus to the Fidzi, and this bonus increases the more time has passed. Um, so that's basically it. I mean, it's really reinforcing those working with another empire. You want to stay friends with him a long time. Uh, about the alliances, basically this was the, the meat of the thing. There is also mm. this little warning that you can see next to the term that will inform you yeah. if you declare war to someone, it will tell you, hey, be careful, the, there might be three other guys yeah, in yeah, this alliance. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, because now the alliances decide to enter wars and exit or exit wars at the same time, basically. Uh, so it's something very important. Like it, we wanted to create this new 
way of playing alliance is really focused well it's your ally so you're gonna help him or leave him basically uh -huh, okay well uh, it's not uh, like one uh, or either yeah i think you, you've got some experience with the uh, turning tail and dropping out of the lines when your uh, <laughs> allies are in crisis right so yeah it's it's a new thing you can do which is just saying you know what no i'm not part of this and you just drop out so um you know it's it's really you play it the way you want uh <coughs> mm. you you see where your responsibility lies um it, it's your deal you're you're the you know the, the, the space and per person so um you do you um, another big thing, I think, uh, with the alliances is the new coordination tool. Do you want to talk about that? Definitely. Um, so when you are in an alliance, we have added a new tab in the chat, which allows you to speak only to your allies, uh, which was missing. You can also now directly whisper to a player in multiplayer by clicking the little uh, colored dots on the bottom right next to the enter button. It's only yeah. in multiplayer. So I think we're over the uh, yeah. level A. So it's <coughs> somewhere behind Jhel here. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Ooh, oh, but it's, wow. not, it's not multiplayer Internet here, so you, you, you won't see it. Yeah, actually, actually, yes, you can. You can. Uh, no, this no, is single it's, player. It's only so. multiplayer, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, the, the little colored dots. What you were seeing here is a player placing a ping on the map to tell his allies to attack, I think. Uh, no, defend. to defend. Actually, yeah. they want them to defend Shaddai, I think. And you can enter a little text message uh, on the map to add more information if needed. So you can place either an attack or a defend ping, one of each. And uh, also note that the AI actually uses this. They will uh, give you little messages with the importance of their request, like, uh, please, this is vital for me that you attack here. <laughs> please, <laughs> do not let me die. <laughs> <laughs> do not let me die. Um, and the AI will also be influenced by the ping you actually place. So if you place an attack mm. ping somewhere, uh, it, the AI might be influenced to help you and attack this place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, uh, I mean, much yeah, for, from the returns we've seen, uh, it, it's really helpful in that yeah. it makes, uh, you know, being part of an, an, an AI alliance uh, yeah. feel really more involved. That's you're right. not just right. allied to some guys and mm. you're not talking to them. Now you, you can, can actually finally, communicate uh, even yeah, if they're not yeah. human. So that's quite cool. Yeah. And not only do they make requests of you, you can also make requests yeah. of them that they'll try to honor if they actually mm. can afford to. So that, that's, I think, uh, it's a, really a powerful uh, tool for the player. Yeah, so definitely. Immersion, yay! <laughs> um, well, I think the, the next step we have, uh, well, how about instead of going for the pirate layer, we go for the weapons retake? Do you want to talk about right. this? This, uh, this is your big thing. I know. All right. uh, we worked quite a long time with the G2G balance mod and the community to redo and rework uh, the entire weapon si not system but like balancing basically uh -huh. do, you, do you want to briefly uh remind people what the g2g balance mode is yeah the G2, g2g balance mode is basically a mod on steam that uh, we use as developers to try out ideas before going live with them basically and really having your feedback like in a close loop basically being able to read it change it quickly see how you react and basically balance it on the fly uh, and so we've used that a lot for this uh, weapon retake, which basically changes completely how the weapons are played uh, with in mind to create a better experience for the player and a more balanced one. Like we want you to always be on your toes about what the enemy will bring to the table and how to defeat him. Uh, so to, to quickly go over it, uh, basically the projectiles have become high risk, high reward weapons, mm -hmm. uh, while the energy weapons are a more uh, sure way of uh, hitting your opponent but do less damage. So they are more like counter weapons, <coughs> you want to counter the tactics of the enemy. I mean a lot of meta gameplay can, uh, can be found there. Uh, the missile, and also all weapons shoot at all ranges now. So there's okay. never a weapon that's never, is not shooting basically. Uh, we found that that was something very frustrating for the players basically, mm -hmm. uh, where they wouldn't like the fact that well, your ship's not firing for two thirds of the battle yeah. if you had beams, for example. I, I guess especially if you're a newer player and you don't yeah, really yeah. know, you haven't noticed that there are different ranges. Exactly. So, like, so why, am I, why is my fleet not doing anything? <laughs> Shoot! So that was very frustrating for the player, so we changed that. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's go over quickly the weapons and what they do now. Uh, the missiles are still the same logic. Uh, you've got, uh, they're better at long range and they'll get worse and worse as they get close. They are they fire slowly but are high impact uh, projectiles basically. Uh, then you've got the kinetics uh, which are basically machine guns in space uh, that are also equipped with flak modules. 
that shoot down incoming missiles and squadrons. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, and so those used to be like a sort of very weak weapon because of their defensive abilities. Uh, now they are a very strong short-range weapon and very bad at long range. Mm -hmm. And even at any range they can miss, but they pack quite the punch. Okay. So they're the one you want to use, like lay down a defensive flag cover and move in for the kill, basically. Uh, we've got the beams, which used to be our like specialist short-range weapon, mm -hmm. uh, which is now a hundred percent short <coughs> hit. I mean, it's basically a ray of light. Yeah, it's hard to miss. It's hard to you know not know that you're yeah. not hitting the thing. And the speed of light is quite far, it, so yeah, you tend fast. not to miss. Um, and so this one hits for sure at every range. So this is the best weapon to counter the enemy's tactics. If you know he's using missiles then you'll go short range with your beams and the other way around if he uses kinetics for example. So this way you can basically brain him and put him in positions he doesn't like and isn't comfortable with. Uh, we've also got the lasers which have a more um, let's say a typical curve, like they get better in the middle, medium ranges, uh, but aren't that good at close or longer ranges. Okay, so it's more of a bell curve. Yeah, exactly. So it's when you're unsure, you want something that's, sh you want to go into medium ranges, you mm -hmm. want to optimize some cards you've got, for example, tactic cards. Or maybe so if you don't know what the enemy is. Exactly, it's a, it's a, because it's better damage than the beam. Mm -hmm. So it's a good all-around weapon, basically, but you'll have to be careful about what the enemy brings to the table. Okay. Uh, I think that covers the, the lot. So it's quite a lot of, uh, of changes, yeah. um, especially from what we had before. We also worked on the feedback of a lot of things, of weapons and all that, and really tried to, to make the battle something more engaging. Okay. So um, just as a, a quick reminder and a heads up if you haven't uh, figured it out, um, the, the relative power level of your fleet, if you have an ongoing game, after the update is going to change somewhat mm. dramatically. So make sure that, <laughs> you know, before you get into a fight, yeah. you check what your fleet is Definitely. capable of doing because you might get really bad surprises. <laughs> so re really do check. Um, okay, um, so I think thanks, yeah. thanks for the, the weapons. Um, let's let's head over to the, uh, the next bit, which is going to have you talk again about Pirate Slayer. Yeah, so this is a big feature uh, we wanted to make. Uh, pirates just spawned out of nowhere, and they, we didn't feel like that was quite right. With, with didn't feel right basically. So now you've got pirate layers that appear around the galaxy, which spawns the pirates. So we can see one on the screen because you can see them in the battle view, oh, which nice. is awesome. Yeah. I mean, some awesome design from our artists right there. Uh, and so they spawn around the galaxy on nodes, and we'll spawn pirate fleets regularly, basically. And their strength increases over time and when they manage to do certain actions and all that. Mm -hmm. Like if they destroy another fleet, they'll get a bit stronger. So this is something as a player you want to quickly destroy because you also find loot according to the strength of the what, pirate what layer, kind I think. Of loot? Uh, I think it's dust, mostly dust. I mean, pirates do love their dust, uh -huh. basically. Don't we all? <laughs> Uh, and yeah, so basically you want to invade those places. They, it acts <coughs> like a regular ground battle, basically. Uh, and so you want to destroy them. That's Makes pretty sense. much it. <coughs> if, I, if I may just yeah, add, go ahead. Like this was our opportunity also to um, decorrelate, can you say that in English? <laughs> to separate the, yeah. the pirates from the minor factions. And now yeah. minor factions are going to have their own fleets, which will be static on their own system. And they're going to stay and defend their yeah. system. And you get those fleets when you assimilate exactly. the minor factions. So it's a it's bonus... A, it's uh, a win-win scenario. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, I think also, so. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, it depends on the shape. Colonialism, a win-win uh, situation. <laughs> okay, well, d please don't put words in my mouth. I don't believe <laughs> I'm that. joking. Um, but, uh, I mean, the, the worst case scenario is you can just steal yeah. them, uh, sell, sell them, sorry. <laughs> um, but also, something you will have to keep in mind is that those static defensive fleet will still react to your faction according to the, the minor faction's yeah, moves. Yeah, definitely. Uh, 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 exactly. Yes. So like, the one will you. Shots will be very very violent and attack you on site, whereas uh, which like <coughs> traumatic uh, minor the Harshans, the the Harshans, Harshans were well, basically like just yeah, cool man. Okay. Just um, I saw I saw the marin making signs to us. Just to add that the loot you can get from pirate lizards is mostly dust, but you can also get uh, rare luxuries or strategic resources. Mm. Okay. 
Um, do you want to uh, maybe expand on some other uh, pretty striking visual changes uh, coming to the, um, the basically all the what we call the heretics plots, uh, which is uh, mm -hmm. Yonder's gambits? And what's the name of the other, um, the opposites, when you're siding against them? You got the loss and the. Uh, yeah. The regenerators, I think. Yeah, I can't remember this. Okay, never mind. Sorry, yeah, it's, it's it's a very specific. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not the lore master. Yeah, so. tell tell us about tell us about how it's changed basically. Uh, yeah, so we've added a lot. What is this we're well, seeing? First off, we've added new visuals for this end game. We wanted to make it feel more epic. We've also reworked the entire set of rewards you could get instead of like just resources. <coughs> we've added system improvements modules, I mean a bunch of stuff, I think, maybe heroes even, I'm not sure, I mean there's so much stuff I can't, no, can't list it you'll off. you don't get heroes from it. Okay, not heroes then. But you do get, if you're on the losing side uh, of the, the, the basically the heretics yeah. quest, you don't get to recruit heroes anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah, if definitely. you're on the heretics side and, and you lose, the academy is destroyed, so That's right. you don't get heroes from there anymore. You'll have to get them through the marketplace, basically. Um, I actually think that if you're on that side, you can't get them from the marketplace, and that's where it Ooh. hurts. And also, yeah, you yeah, cannot yeah, yeah. heal them anymore. So, um, I, I think, I'm not sure about that. No, I don't yeah, think so. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. I, if you're, yeah. Okay, two out of three people here say you can't heal them anymore. I haven't tried healing. I'm never. They never die. I mean. yeah, My yeah. heroes are always impeccable. I've just read this in an obscure archaic <laughs> tech, you know. Uh, so uh, I may be just speaking out of turn here. Um, so yeah, and if you're on the other side, obviously uh, you get them through the marketplace yeah, yeah. Uh, still. Um, and in the other direction, I don't think the marketplace is destroyed. Just you don't get the heroes. No. Anymore. Well, yeah, basically it's. Uh, a work we want to make about making the meta plot, this uh, end, end game uh, scenario, more involving and engaging for the player and mm -hmm. trying to really work that so it has an impact yeah. on the whole galaxy. Yeah, it, uh, I mean, it makes sense, right? Because it, it's something that's supposed to be affecting mm. basically the entirety of yeah. your local part of space. Yeah, but yeah, if, you, if no one's really paying attention, <laughs> it doesn't feel very epic. <laughs> exactly. Just snatching the rewards. Yeah, so it, it did feel a bit like a resource-grabbing minigame, basically. Okay. Wanted to yeah. wanted to feel like, well, the world, the galaxy is about to end. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, someone wants to bring the loss back to life and restart over. So it, it has to be an engaging decision. Okay. Um, speaking next, I think, um, is JL to tell us about the constellation bonuses. Um, so this is also <coughs> something that has a bit of a visual aspect in that you can see it on the zoomed out galaxy map. Exactly. Uh, so Froggy explained it. Like you can dis you can discover constellations uh, which are named on the game. As you can see, there are many in this galaxy, and uh, each constellation is assigned a bonus when you generate the galaxy. And uh, basically, now players can control them. So to control a constellation, you just have to colonize a certain number of system on it. Uh, you can see the numbers like 1 slash 3. This means you control one of the three systems needed to control the constellation. Uh, once you have the three systems, you get the constellation bonus, which is applied to the systems in this constellation. So you get a bonus on any one of the feeds, which is uh, chosen at the galaxy generation. This is interesting because it uh, encourages you, because the bonus, for example, is shared with your allies. Mm. So basically... Nice. It can create some interesting dynamics on Definitely. the territory. Like you the, want to map. get some specific territories, uh, ask your ally to help you with the ping, the collaboration tool. We exactly. Created. Everything fits in. Like, do you get <laughs> shared ownership <laughs> of a constellation? Like, maybe if I have two systems, you have one. Does it count towards the constellation bonus? Uh, or do, does one player need to have all three systems? Very specific question. It's a very specific <laughs> I, question. I'm sorry, I, I know you guys are not programmers. <laughs> that, that was the wrong question to ask. Um, you guys will find out for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Try it out. All right. Call, call uh, and obviously, th there's a bunch of, I think there's four or five different uh, types of rewards. And yeah. um, these will um, be random. So mm -hmm. even if you have more constellations, then we have different types of rewards. We'll just find the same uh, a few times, probably. So uh, more opportunities to fight for constellations that otherwise may not be very interesting, yeah. but could still have very good bonuses when put all together. Mm. So um, you guys will you guys will know what you want to do, to go for anyway when you see it. Um, next up, we have I think a, a few new events joining this update. Definitely. Okay, hey, Harold, do you want to tell us about this? Um, I think uh, I think. Uh, 
basically it's uh, it's more content like uh, events that you can trigger on certain context i'm not entirely sure of the context i i saw i saw a comment in the chat like the game is 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 very big and uh, yeah. Each like for example, Kinrail worked a lot on the on the weapon balance. I worked a little bit more on the diplomacy part. So this is why sometimes we're a little blurry on the details. Yeah, uh, yeah you can imagine in a four X game you got a lot of details. Yeah, and usually I would be the one filling in the blanks, but I've just sorted through nine pages of patch notes, and I'm sorry, I cannot remember <laughs> hundreds we, we of lines. We just did too many stuff for this update. It's in yeah, it's so <laughs> there is a lot of content in the update, yeah. and uh, part of this content is new events. Uh, and new events chains that, that you can Yeah, basically with choices, I mean, because we had events that just popped and it only, yeah, this happened. So it's more trying to add choices to, um, new choices to events and stuff like that. I'm really not sure. So yeah, I, th I, th I think some of the events uh, that are, um, that have been included are basically like follow up to other events. Yeah, uh, yeah, so, that's, right, um, that's right. I, I think, yeah, you, well, you'll find mm -hmm. out for yourselves, yeah. especially if you have some of these quest, quest lines going on. And uh, of course, if you want more specific details as to which events you'll find out in, mm. um, in the update notes, which will be updated uh, on our blog and on Steam as soon as the update is live. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it, I think, for the events. So we're now moving on to the next point, which is, of course, uh, the Hall of Fame, which we call yeah. the Empire Chronicles, JL. Um, <clears throat> so the Hall of Fame, the name is pretty self-explanatory, well at least for you, for those of you who will have played Civilization. Uh, it's basically a journal of all your games that you can sort uh, according to different parameters, uh, like you can see score, empire type, results, etc. Uh, there is an option to include modded games, so if you want to play with modes, you can mm -hmm. still have them in the Hall of Fame. Uh, well, it's it's written games journal. We're working on a more lore name. I think I think the last proposal was uh, Empire Chronicles, yeah. which is a little bit uh, more a little epic. Bit, yes, yeah, more yeah. epic. <laughs> yeah, it's it's less la you know, dear diary. You know, like, <laughs> this is what happened in Imagine the whole galaxy. Imagine the like dear diary. Dear dear diary. diary. <laughs> Today, uh, I captured two planets. I yeah. think that's yeah, the, the not the vibe we're going for. <laughs> Okay, uh, all right, so, um, and I... Oh, and uh, yes? sorry, uh, Frog, sure. I, I forgot to mention that the little button on the right, the screen button, actually allows you to see all the mm. graphs of your game. Uh, so it's actually all recorded, if you want to go back and see how well the AIs did, how well your friends did, etc. Mm. Yeah, um, we have a comment from one of our devs who's actually surprised that um, Atto, who's our uh, social media manager, actually won the game. And I have to say that, you know, uh, all of these games have been won turn two. He's really good, actually. <laughs> um, and uh, so, yeah, you, uh, did you say you could also rewatch the cutscene? I didn't. Uh, you yeah. didn't? Well, <laughs> now, actually, now you guys know. So, uh, <laughs> on top of being able to uh, rewatch your uh, previous, um, you know, best games, yeah. you can also watch the cutscene uh, that um, celebrated that victory. And the last thing I think is you can also uh, choose whether to see the modded games you had or not. Mm -mm. Uh, so that, you know, the, the one time you played super uber OP Sophons will not affect <laughs> your overall normal regular yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, ranking. So, um, yeah, that's it for this bit. We're now going to move on to uh, the Orbital Stations, which is also a, a pretty cool visual addition. Mm. Um, do you help for that, I guess? Well, I guess, I guess you can. Yeah, yeah. which mean, it can it's, We wanted to bring more life to the planets in our, in our system. So, basically, the more population you have on the planet, the more of these little stations hovering around will appear. So you, you basically can know just at a glance how many people <laughs> are on the planet. So it's, it's like a, a, a small detail, but you know, devil is in the details. So basically when you look at it, you know, okay, there are a lot of people here and it feels alive. That's, mm -hmm. that's the idea behind this feature. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a, a, a visual addition, yeah. a visual indicator. It, for, for the moment, it has no gameplay effect yet. Yeah, yeah it's just a, a, a one more immersive thing. Yeah. Just like the, uh, the you exactly. know, all these small, um, in, well, you know, space trails of light, yeah, yeah. spacecraft, and yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's, it's the same idea, but to reinforce it. It, it does a look bit to more. me that the, the, the guys who are currently crossing the, the ring section, I mean, I've seen some Star Wars movies in which to do that. That looks very dangerous. Oh, it movie. is, definitely. Okay. Probably cravers or something. Yeah, yeah like really. crazy people. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think that's it uh, for the features. We're now going to be taking questions from you guys if you have some, uh, of course. Um, 
thanks for all of you for, you know for sitting nice and pretty for uh, almost I think uh, 20 minutes yeah. for, without actually asking all the questions at the same time <laughs> um, it's it's always kind of distracting to try and you know remember <clears throat> all the things we have to say while keeping questions in mind like oh that's a good that's a good one mm -hmm. um, so let's see what you guys got uh, of course for the the uh, I see we have a, a pretty big number of Russian speaking uh, viewers on YouTube uh, guys uh, unfortunately we don't speak Russian so if you if you can put your question in English, even if your English is not very, very, um, you know, good. We'll we'll try and find whatever um, mm. you guys meant and try and bring you a satisfactory answer. Um, so let's see, what have we got? Oh, <clears throat> well, how the weapons got reworked? How did you change the defense? So Actually, we did. Good. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> okay, uh, so we did rebalance the defenses. The shields were too weak. Uh, hull plating was king basically of the battlefield. Mm -hmm. So the shields now have a longer lifespan and absorb more damage. Uh, and basically the feeling is that they're pretty much on par with hard platings. And the advantage of shields is that they're going to absorb more damage on a shorter period of time. So if you're dealing out a lot of damage, that's the kind of defense you want. Because that way you can like basically kill the enemies before they kill your shields. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, after you basically open to to all their weapons, and it's good luck to end the battle alive. Okay. <coughs> um, are you thinking about creating star bases? I guess that kind of question, just after seeing the <coughs> orbitals, you know, is inevitable. It's sure. uh, of course, this is you know this is something that is often requested. So far, we have made no commitments towards uh, star bases and other. Uh, static defensive features, but uh, this is something we keep in mind. So I see. Will there be multiplayer? We already have multiplayer. Yeah, we have multiplayer. What's the? Um, <coughs> Maybe that was an easy player. question. Uh, <laughs> are you planning to overhaul the micromanagement in the late game? Um, mm. I, I'm guessing this is more of a population question maybe it's, <coughs> it's a complicated question like more or less i mean every player is looking for something different yeah I, I you should come over to the forums and and post like a big post about what you'd like to see and what doesn't work for you and we'll take the time to to read yeah, it I mean, a, a big uh, thing really um a, a big part of the feeling about micromanagement in general in that is that a lot of, uh, you know, many players want to have control, uh, absolute control over mm. very minute details uh, of their, of their I mean, game, so, yeah. even very late into the game, whereas uh, many players tend to like micromanaging <coughs> to get the best kind of head starts mm. and then just, you know, let the game do its thing and uh, just focus on the bigger picture. So it's always kind of a difficult line to straddle. Yeah, uh, we try to make it easier. Uh, I guess if you really want to micromanage and optimize um, it, it can be a bit trickier, but if you have ideas, uh, uh, you know, suggestions are, as always, we're always open to uh, suggestions. So feel free to drop by the forums or even the Steam forums and mm -hmm. uh, shoot us uh, Definitely. Uh, a message. When does the update launch? Yes, that is a question I should have probably answered earlier uh, because it's been uh, asked all throughout. Uh, the update is slated for, I think, um, 6 p.m., which is uh, excuse me. It's Actually, minus three okay, that, that will be maybe, you know, in 10 minutes when we're uh, down here. Um, so maybe, you know, the fewer questions we take, maybe the fast, faster <laughs> we can uh, <laughs> drop the update. <clears throat> if, if I may, I saw an interesting question about the cooperative protocols, like how do they work with custom factions? Mm. It's linked to the population you pick, to the visuals. Yeah. Uh, someone just asked for uh, any new uh, species or factions. We actually, in the previous update, which was a Little Grim Man, we introduced yeah. a new uh, little, uh, minor faction. Exactly. Uh, that's all for now, as far as factions are concerned. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, should that change, we'll let you guys know as soon as we're ready to talk about anything. Uh, so, you know, for now, you have a, a new species of very devious people. If you thought the Lunaris were, um, uh, you know, really trickster, little sneaky uh, bastards, uh, well, that guy is really quite something else. I mean, there is a new quest, and uh, actually, it really ties in pretty well uh, with the um, the comics. We're currently also doing the Unfallen comics, um, yeah. which is a based on the vote. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you guys get to choose the direction in which the story evolves, and I think we have the last vote coming up in um, <coughs> a week from now, I think, right. or two weeks. So uh, you know, do check it out. Uh, is it possible to beach pirate layers as a Vodiani? Can a pirate layer handle an arc at the beginning, or do minor factions have a fleet at turn one? No, they appear after a certain amount of time. 
Uh, as for leeching, apparently, mm -hmm. I don't think so. <coughs> yeah, they're, 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 not, they're not defenseless. They're, they're, yeah, they're yeah, pirates. Yeah. That, that's not the kind of people... It's, it's basically wanna... a base for them. It's not like they've set up a system and exploiting it. They're just like hanging out in their pirate base and, and sending ships like from cobalt asteroids or something. Someone and just, keep, keep, yeah. keep just, just to, to add the precision, keep in mind that the pirate layers are only dis destroyable by ground battle. So yeah. actually, if you go there with an arc, I mean, it's possible if you have the manpower, but I think it could be a very risky tactic. Mm. All right, well, you guys have been warned. Uh, someone just asked about new AI improvements. Uh, of course, we have added some new AI improvements in the f in the way that you know they actually um, use the new features, uh, the coordination tools, mm. diplomatic uh, demands, and all these other uh, cool things, uh, and also you know <coughs> other optimizations of performance and the like. Um, um, is there any way to scroll back up the comments? Yeah, I saw it's something a really good interesting. Question. Okay, I think so. what was it? About a surprise, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had mentioned uh, surprised, uh, um, and of course, it is coming. Uh, only the thing is, you guys will have to wait a bit more. It is coming at 7 because uh, this is a double feature stream. Not only are we streaming about the updates, but um, in a short while, we will have um, Atto and uh, Dark Hermo, who's our. Uh, web, uh, I guess, web manager, like web superman, uh, web the, the guy who created the games together with his beautiful <laughs> hands. Um, All on his own. He's basically, I think, or most advanced uh, ES2 players, uh, one of the most experienced anyway, so he's going to be showing Atto, who's uh, notoriously garbage at the game, how to actually play properly. Um, so this should That's be fun. And true. at the end of this, of course, we will tell you, uh, tell you guys all about the surprise. Um, after dealing with this update, what are the things you guys would like to work on? Well, wouldn't you like to know, huh? <laughs> so that, that's that question of the way. <laughs> uh, okay. Have you adjusted endgame quest reward? Yes, exactly. That's yeah. what we were mentioning earlier. Yeah, exactly. uh, so there is a podium with new rewards for that's the... That's uh, right, the module, priority. star system improvements. I mean, it's a whole new range. I think there are effects that get applied to your like uh, empire improvement stuff. And there's a lot of stuff, a lot of content and yeah we had read that basically the quests were too long. Uh, I mean the <coughs> reward was too small for what the quest yes, uh, as, took you. Uh -huh. as an investment. Like. And just I, I saw several questions about minor factions. Uh, the minor factions have their own status with you so they won't attack you as, as a general rule of thumb. Like if they're not warmongers they will not attack mm. you unless you provoke them or unless you declare war to them. Yeah. So you can go and leech a minor <coughs> faction. And, and, and if you have brainwashed them, they won't attack you. I saw someone asking if this update was free, and yes, yes. it's all free. Yeah, yeah. This update is, of course, as we mentioned, free. Uh, anytime we use the word update, uh, it means that update is free. Yeah. And uh, uh, basically, when we mention a patch, it means that there, this is mostly bug fixes with no addition of content. Uh, what we like to do mostly in the case of really big uh, additions is just bundle them all together into a nice update with a theme. In, in this case, you know, more diplomatic oriented. Mm. Um, so yeah, this is why we have Galactic Statecraft today, free. Um, do you hire junior game developers? I like your style. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great time to get involved. Um, I think we, we're always interested in junior profiles, provided that you, know, you, get, you have what it takes to uh, impress us. Uh, so, of course, you can go to our website, which yeah. is amplitude-studios.com. should list the open... And I think it does open. list uh, all of our uh, currently open positions. Uh, otherwise, uh, we also, ha even, you know, in a more general um, um, kind of answer, uh, if you're not located in France or willing to relocate, Sega is also always hiring. We mm. also have other cool people in other studios around the world, so you might find a position that could be close to you, regardless of where you are. <laughs> uh, wow, that was beautiful. Um, okay, we're going to take one last question, I guess, and then we're going to have to move on. Uh, wow, okay, we have a lot of questions about people asking for stuff they want to pay. Well, don't worry. I mean, uh, we've said that... <laughs> if the, we really have like, to. <laughs> we've already mentioned at least one, which was the minor faction uh, that you guys voted for uh, mm. a few weeks ago. Um, so that one is coming at least, and of course we have other cool things, but we don't want to ruin the surprise before we're ready to talk about it. No. So um, nothing to say quite yet on this front. Um, okay, one last one last, not to finish on something we actually yeah. are not answering. Um, wow, I just opened the game, the intro music gives me chills. Well, that's exactly what it's designed to do. 
Somebody wants loot crates. Uh, we're thinking <laughs> yeah. about it. Uh, it's, it's something it's like <laughs> takes 40 hours uh, to unlock. I think that's the kind of thing we're aiming for. Yeah, yeah, some sort of XP system. To, yeah, uh, yeah, probably. You had to grind games to unlock them. Yeah. All right, the patch is up. Well, that's the last question we're going to take. It should no, be, but as soon as soon. I get back upstairs and you know manage to sync up with the team, it's going to be uh, very, very uh, short. So I would say within the next uh, quarter, um, 15 minutes. So um, on this, uh, we're going to say goodbye, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, um, that that was, is a good question. Oh, hold on, hold on. We have one last thing. Ready. Oh, yes, sure. Thank you uh, for the reminder. Uh, we are doing an AMA tonight uh, on Reddit on r uh, slash PC Master Race. It seems there's a link just uh, here. Yeah, there is a link just upstairs. Uh, well, I've always uh, above, dreamt sorry. of doing something like that. Okay. <laughs> it sounds so crazy. With the roof, I guess. <laughs> yeah. um, so, yeah, um, w uh, basically, uh, we will have people from all of our um, domains. We'll, yeah. we'll have uh, art people, we'll have the creative people will have the programmers Everyone. Everyone. Um, so any question you want to ask uh, you will be able to head over there uh, I think shortly I think it will be it's live it's live all right okay it's already live you can already start asking yeah. questions uh, even if you 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 cannot stay uh, I think it starts at nine to eight, two, eight? okay a couple hours from now um, even if you cannot stay you can already ask a question maybe you have an yeah. answer uh, so thanks again for joining yes, us. Um, that was a, a very, very, um, I think, uh, loaded. Um, yeah, a lot of info. Updates. A lot of yeah, uh, a lot of but uh, thanks for bearing with us uh, from yeah. all these platforms. We've tried to answer questions from pretty much everyone everywhere. <coughs> um, so again, that was Ken Royal, Jay Hill, and myself, Fox Squadron. Uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah, see you soon. Peggy Seven. The Galactic Statecraft Update is a major long-awaited addition to Endless Space 2 diplomatic gameplay. Players will be offered plenty of new options to interact and collaborate with other major civilizations, including a series of new features and game improvements. For those who favor the subtle art of negotiation rather than brutal bloodshed, the game now offers new diplomatic means for faction leaders to solve conflictual situations, making collaboration more rewarding and accessible than ever. Through improved alliances, players can strengthen their bonds with allies and benefit from new bonuses. A new coordination tool is also available for players to communicate with their allies to attack or defend specific locations in the galaxy. On top of that, the update brings a series of new features. Secret pirate layers. New endgame bonuses linked to the heretic's plot. Orbital stations. Constellation control bonuses. Weapons rebalancing. And a series of new events. You can even keep a record of your campaign's performance via a new local leaderboard. We hope you will enjoy this new free content for Endless Space 2, and we would be happy to collect your feedback on our Games Together platform. <laughs>